Uh, hello YouTube, Louie here. I have been uh, putting together some more research on the elemental um, gold smuggling situation and uh, I wanted to bring you what I have found so far um, and uh, this is uh, information that uh, I find to be very shocking and you, you may have heard it before but perhaps not organized uh, in the way I'm going to present it so uh, here it goes uh, what you're looking at here is uh, a series done by the New York Times uh, called uh, Peru scrambles to drive out illegal gold mining and save precious land. Of course, uh, the rainforest is in this part of the world, and that's kind of important to us. And what we have here is a series of uh, pictures of what illegal gold smuggling, illegal gold mining looks like in the, uh, the rainforest. So uh, these individuals who go into the rainforest uh, basically are there to plunder the land and uh, under, um, under the radar they're spraying water and mercury and other toxic chemicals into uh, pristine, uh, you know, billion year old whatever rainforest. And then uh, local miners who have no other source of income are assisting them in gathering the metals in this highly toxic environment. And they are uh, clear-cutting and uh, destroying large, large swaths of the rainforest and polluting the waters and polluting the food chain up and down from the fish, which everyone eats, um, all the way up to the animals that are probably endangered. Um, children are, here you see, playing in this mess that's been created by this illegal process. And the government is somehow complicit. Um, there are photos, there are thermal photos of the devastation um, year to year. So you can see basically what has been going on. Um, and I could play those all day long. And there are, you know, lots of stories about uh, the effects on the indigenous people and what is uh, what is happening there um, so link this these images now to the elemental um, scandal and I call it a scandal because it is nothing less than a scandal um, and I'm going to read you uh, you know the actual statements of the uh, of the regulators so hold on one second let's go find that all right so um, just a, a quick, uh, let me see if I can just paraphrase some of this. Uh, what, is, what is illegal gold? Why is it bad? Well, it's not like they ran a stoplight um, and, uh, you know, that that made it illegal. You saw the, the situation that this uh, gold is coming out of. It's coming out of a very low-cost environment with high environmental and human damage. And it's a highly irresponsible where the forests are destroyed, workers are damaged by mercury. You know, mercury um, builds up in your system. You may not know it the first day you go diving into mercury-laden water to, uh, to retrieve the gold. But, uh, you know, by the, by the time you're 40, you're going to be an idiot. Um, so, um, what, uh, what uh, let me see how much of this I can do. Um, trafficking, it's related to drugs and sex trafficking and just every bad thing there is in the world. Okay. Now, this is what Bloomberg had to say. Um, the operations manager at Metals Refining Company um, was charged with helping run a gold smuggling network that reaped billions of dollars for illegal mines controlled by drug dealers and other criminals of South America. The criminal complaint against Juan Pablo Granada outlines a vast conspiracy involving employees at NTR Metals to buy huge amounts of gold from illegal mines in Peru that support human trafficking, forced labor, and environmental devastation. The scheme allowed NTR Metals' office in Miami to launder billions of dollars for criminal organizations. The charges signal the U.S. crackdown on smugglers. Um, Let's see, uh, on and on. Dallas-based NTR Metals isn't charged in the case. All right, so this is against the individuals that worked for them, not them. Hmm, that's interesting. The company, also known as Elemental Direct, is one of the eight divisions of Dallas-based Elemental LLC. 
Trey Gum, general counsel for Elemental, declined to comment. Granda, who was arrested Wednesday, appeared Thursday in handcuffs and was ordered detained until a bail hear hearing on March 30th. U.S. Customs records strongly suggest that NTR began buying illegal gold in Peru in 2012, according to the complaint by Homeland Security and investigators. NTR then began smuggling illegal gold through the shifting array of Latin American companies. For the billions of dollars worth shipped from Latin America NTR in Miami, NTR sent billions of dollars in wire payments to Latin America. Granda conspired with two salespeople and others who knew the transactions involved organized crime, etc. Um, let's see, this is interesting. Um, well, there's a part here where they had uh, they had decoded some of his uh, communications, and he is comparing himself to a modern day Pablo Escobar. Um, I'm like Pablo, coming to Ecuador to get coke, he said, according to the complaint. Ronda and salesperson one bragged to each other about their gold mules, sending pictures of young men carrying backpacks. All right, so this is all uh, from the Bloomberg article, and uh, we don't know if the $3 billion of gold was all from illegal mines, um, and NTR is not... Um, is not part of the indictment, but the people that ran their operation apparently are. All right, what we're doing, and but it's not like they just got uh, a few ounces, a hundred ounces, a few pounds. All right, the amount of smuggling and the amount of gold that NTR, a wholly owned subsidiary of Elemental, pulled out of the ground was three point. Five billion dollars in early March, Bloomberg broke the news that NTR Metals bought three point five billion dollars of South American gold. Right now, yeah. you want to see how Elemental is, um, what their structure is? Okay, here we go. Here's all the stuff that Elemental LLC companies own, and I think there are people that uh, want to believe that uh, when a subsidiary of a company is engaged in something illegal, that it's very possible that the CEO and others in the corporate offices don't really know what's going on. Um, so I just, I, I put that question to you. Have you ever worked in a company uh, that was engaged in anything kind of shady, even a little bit shady, maybe a lot shady, where the people that ran, own, and profited from the operations didn't know what was going on? Okay, you answer that question for yourself, but uh, perhaps, maybe they're completely blame-free at the top, but of course you are responsible for your wholly owned subsidiaries. All these different companies here have all been struck as LLCs under the corporation Elemental LLC, and that includes NTR and what was OPM and Provident, and uh, well, here they all are: Echo Environmental, Elemental Capital, Elemental Diamonds, Elemental Direct, Elemental Direct America, Elemental Direct USA, Fabrication Insurance Management, Elemental Mint, Elemental Minting, Elemental Online Recycling Refining USA. Elemental Vault. Let's stop there for a minute. If you saw this story, do you think you would leave your thousands and thousands of dollars in the Elemental Vault? And yes, they are required uh, to maintain you know, strict control of those assets and not to pledge them in any way. But I think you'll see very soon what kind of corporation this is. And I, I ask you, if you have your money in Elemental Vault, having them store it for you, when you see the kind of company this is, you ask yourself if that is a smart place. And I think people all over the country are asking themselves, is this a smart place to have my money? And perhaps uh, that vault may be getting some withdrawals. Provident Precious Metals. It's not like they are um, 
a partially owned, partially controlled, loosely configured, uh, mutually uh, beneficial corporations. Provident Precious Metals is owned by Elemental and NTR, where um, the people that have been alleged to uh, be part of that massive devastation of the environment and human beings um, is one of their big companies. Look at the stuff under NTR. Okay, a lot of you, I'm sure, sell gold to NTR. Um, and, uh, of course, they, they are the, the ones that are under attack. Their own attorney that was uh, um, filing a defamation lawsuit against um, these allegations was saying basically it was the end of NTR. Uh, Elemental LLC is a parent company with Elemental being the brand name. Elemental LLC is a privately held company, okay? So you don't get to see their books and records and how much money they made from the gold that they potentially and allegedly smuggled. It is intertwined to some extent with DGSE, a publicly traded NASDAQ company, which it owns the majority shares of, and it's actually 49%. All right, so it's 49, at 49%, they own the majority shares, but they are not the owner of the company. And then it says here how OPM merged into NTR. DGSE is a company that's worth $1.60 a share. It has, um, well, let's take a look at DGSE. Why, why don't we? Yahoo Finance. This is the company that Elemental owns a majority stake in. Um, let's see, you can't quite see that, but it's $1.64 is the value. There's how the stock has traded over the years, $1.64 right now. Here's the financials. Here are the financials. Gosh, I wish you could see this. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can straighten out my thing here. There we go. Okay, uh, revenue of DGSE, uh, $48 million. Operating loss, $3.5 million. Net income from operations, a loss of $4 million. Been losing money forever. Um, not sure who would buy this stock other than people that are trading penny stocks, but it is not a penny stock. It is actively traded, but in the process of being delisted. Okay, it's being delisted due to excessive losses and what they call negative retained earnings. Well, how much, maybe they have a lot of assets. I don't know, let's take a look at the balance sheet of DGSE, the company which Elemental owns the majority stake in. Ah, here we go. Current assets, $1,400,000. Inventory, $9 million. Oh, okay. Retained earnings, $34 million of negative retained earnings. Those are the accumulated losses over time. Now you take this really strange and underfunded and failing public company uh, which is intertwined with Elemental and then you see statements like this from their 8K where they are planning to buy some of the assets of Elemental, the recycling assets specifically, for $16 million. Uh, and this is about 16 times uh, the amount of money that DGSE has. So one has to wonder where this company, which operates uh, very much like a subsidiary of Elemental, is getting $16 million. I don't know. What I do know is this is extremely odd. All right? This entity, this public entity that exists and is being delisted is extremely odd. I think the Elemental transaction is extremely odd. I think that the interrelationship between a private and a public company like this is extremely odd. And um, I have no idea what's up with these guys, but I would want nothing to do with them. And again, I think some of the subsidiaries, you know, may be operating independently and maybe just fine companies with fine people working for them. Um, but this uh, does not look right to me. That's my opinion and only my opinion. But you have seen what's going on here. I think um, there could possibly be some sale of assets going on. Um, there are uh, a lot of elemental bars uh, came to market recently in a new retailer called JC Bullion. Um, 
but uh, this to me does not look like a normal setup. This to me looks like we had the smoking gun with um, the gold smuggling and a very odd relationship between a private and a public entity which appears to be in the process of um, reorganizing itself. So, you know, what happens when a company gets delisted? I mean, it very possibly could be taken private. There could be name changes. Um, I don't know, but um, there are some red flags with this organization. So, as they say, if you want to find out what's going on with a company or with a situation, follow the money. Well, here it is. You've seen the organization. You've seen their intertwined public entity. You've seen what they're accused of. You've seen the magnitude of what they're accused of. And now you can reach your own conclusions and watch for the next shoe to drop. All right. Um, and hopefully you found this interesting. Um, I am ashamed to own some of the gold that has been processed through this corporation. Um, knowing where it came from and what it's done to the environment. And I guess there isn't anything we can do about that other than be cognizant of what uh, this illegal mining, um, what, what the uh, repercussions and ramifications are of illegal gold mining. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you found this interesting. And uh, for those of you that have a tolerance for long, boring videos, but um, we are keeping these guys in business, LLC, NTR, Provident. This is us. This is us doing this, not somebody else, some unnamed person. And you saw where the gold is coming from. You saw the kind of company that's bringing it out of the ground and manufacturing it and, uh, and resaling it. Um, so uh, now you know, and you can act accordingly. All right, guys, Louis signing out. Bye.